Welcome to the Just Do It Foundation. I just want to say to you tonight, don't ever stop believing in yourself and don't ever let anyone to make you to stop believing in yourself. There are three guys that I want to bring into your attention tonight and I believe and I'm hoping after I've shared about these guys, the next time you're thinking of giving up or the next time you're thinking of not believing in yourself, you will really think twice about it. The first guy that I want to bring into your attention is Oscar Pistorius. He's the guy who does not have legs and uh, uh, he's one of the fastest runners in the, in, the, in the world. When I was meditating about this statement, I, I thought to myself, this is very contradicting and how could this be possible that the guy who does not have legs be one of the fastest runners in the world? And the only possible conclusion or the only possible answer that I had to come with is, you know, it doesn't really matter where you're coming from. It doesn't really matter about your, 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 your current situation. The only one thing that matters the most is where do you see yourself and where do you want to go and how bad do you want to go there? Those are the things that matters the most. And unfortunately, nowadays, we you find so many people who, who are not doing anything for themselves and the excuse that they will give you is about the the background that they were born in and they, they will give you all sorts of excuses but I'm saying to you tonight if you don't look down upon yourself if you don't judge yourself according to your background if you don't judge yourself according to where you are now but you only judge yourself according to where you want to see yourself then you will make it in life and the second guy that I want to bring into your attention is uh, it's uh, Thomas, Thomas Edison Thomas Edison is the guy who fell dismally in attempt to, to, to invent a light bulb that we are using, most of us we are using uh, in this time and age. This guy failed 999 times and after he fell 999 times, he said he only discovered 999 times that do not work. I mean, I believe most of us would have given up on the 12th attempt or on the you know, 28th attempt, and there will be lots of people around us who will be telling us negative things that, no, this thing has never been done before, and it, it won't happen. It's just impossible. You know, there are those kinds of friends, there are those kinds of people around us who, who always tell us it's impossible. It will not be done because it hasn't been done before. So if we try and be deaf, if we don't listen to all this negative criticism, if we just chase our dreams and we believe in ourselves and we believe we will make it, even if we don't make it, we must be happy that at least we have discovered one way not to repeat how we want to achieve uh, what, we want, what we want to achieve again. You know, if you want to go to, to, to Jobeck from, uh, from Cape Town and you end up in Bloemfontein, then you have discovered one way of not going to Jobek from Cape Town. And from these guys, I think this is what we can learn. You know, this is the courage that we can learn that it doesn't mean that you, if you have failed once or twice, if you fail, you, you haven't reached your destination, you must, you must think you are useless, you must think you're stupid. You must carry on believing that the ways that you have discovered, they are also useful because next time you're not going to repeat the very same ways again. And then the third guy is, uh, is, is, is Martin King Luther. That guy, when he said, I have a dream that one day uh, the people will, will be judged by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin. Imagine if that guy went like, I have a dream that maybe one day uh, the... Hmm. You see now, that doesn't sound very confident but the way he said it at that time he was very confident about himself even though it, it it seemed very impossible even though it looked like he's mocking something you know he believed in his words he believed in himself and uh, he didn't really care about so criticism around him of people who thought it will never be possible because today we can see it's, it's possible it has happened because one person had a dream and one person believed in, in his dream and he, he wanted to chase his dream so much and today it has happened. So I just want to say to you, there are always these people that when you want to do something, when you, 
you you have goals that you wanna achieve in life, they will always tell you it's not it's not possible. You won't make it. And if you listen too much to this negative criticism, that they, they will affect you. You won't really achieve what you wanna achieve in life. And there are again those people who feel better once they step on somebody else's confidence. Don't, don't, don't let people step on your confidence. Don't don't let people do that. Always believe in yourself. Always have confidence in yourself. Even if you are the only one who believes in your dream, chase your dream because there's no one who's going to chase a dream for you. Chase your dream and then believe in yourself and always know that your, your, your destination all... All your destination lie in your it, it lies in your hands and in nobody else's hands and, and you cannot really rely on somebody else to chase a dream for you everybody must chase their own dream so I just want to say ladies and gentlemen don't look down on yourself believe in yourself and know that if you want it so bad you will get it no matter what happens and no matter who says what until next time keep well I love you so much